Hey guys, quick review of the Edematic ER4 SRs. Uh, these are one of the best earphones I've heard under 200. So I like my other reviews. This one was actually requested by a YouTuber. And I had them in, so I was like, might as well review it. Start off with the design and build. Comes with this nice long cable, the L-shaped plug. And then the top part gets braided. Overall, I like the cable, it's pretty good. And I put the shirt tips on here because they just work better for my ears. The other ones go too deep or something and it didn't feel right. So that's that. Box. So these are pretty high uh, impedance headphones, so you're gonna need an amp or something because you are pushing an iPhone with these. I noticed that. So now let's start off with the fit. The fit is pretty good because these are really small. So this whole part is, goes in your ear, essentially. And yeah, it's pretty simple design in terms of that. This cable also comes off. Put that back in. That's a tight fit. There we go. Okay. So yeah, let's start off with and then go on to the sound quality. So I'm gonna compare these to the Weststone W60s and the Shures that I own. So the bass, these are definitely not bass light. They have a lot of definition in the bass regions. It's pretty good, actually really good. This is probably the best single driver IEM I've heard. I've had the Klipsch X11s too, those are pretty good. But yeah, so the bass has a lot of definition in it. It's not the most boomy. Uh, it's very controlled, clear. Uh, yeah, there's not much to say about the bass. And then onto the mid range, it's very, very clear. Like you'll hear all the detail details. It sounds really neutral. Um, it doesn't have any added anything to it, to my ears. Like it just sounds referenced. Um, there might be a little peak in the mid range to make vocals sound they get that up and down of vocals. So the upper mid range is really good too. Uh, these actually blow the shirt SC425s out the water in every regard in my opinion, uh, which kind of shocked me because they're about the same price if you look around. And yeah, so the mid range is really good, clear, mm, no sense of any funny sounds, uh, like it's not recessed or too up front. I feel like it's perfectly where it should be. Uh, so this is an uh, definitely an audiophile grade earphone for someone who's on a budget. Like this will blow you away compared to all the other offerings. And one of the best parts about this earphone is now the treble. Like this, the treble of this earphone competes with the Shure SC846. Like it's that refined, it has all the clarity you'd expect in a more expensive pair of headphone. But yeah, these do it. Like the treble is really good. There might be a little peak at nine kilohertz maybe around that region. Um but yeah, it's really solid, open, airy, you get all the detail. Uh sound stage wise, I feel like these are pretty neutral. They're not as wide as the uh, Weston W60s or the Shure SE846s, but 
it sounds really coherent because it's one driver. So that's something. They're really small, portable. They block out serious amounts of noise, I would say, up there with the Sherline. Um, yeah, what am I missing? Build quality is good. Uh, well, basically, the sound signature of this earphone, I would say, is a signature accurate response. Like, there's no emotion in your music. There's nothing. Like, you just hear the music like it was recorded, I guess. Um, I would say the treble is better than the Shure SE 46 it's just more refined, but I don't know, like, I'm shocked at how these compete with the Shure SE 846 is in that range. Uh, bass-wise, the Shures are obviously going to have more sub bass and more oomph overall, obviously, but in terms of clarity and audiophile sound, I feel like these are definitely up there with the sure se846 uh i would only say that because the treble is so refined like and the detail is it's just there but what i noticed with this lacks compared to a more expensive earphone like the west zone w60s is um air in general like the vocals don't have as much air is something like the West Zone. That's what the Shures lack too. And what all other cheaper ones I've tried, they just lack air sometimes in the vocal. Uh, and when you get up to the West Zones, it just sounds more refined in the treble, even more refined, even tighter bass, uh, more bass, but not too much. Like I would say these in the West Zones are definitely flat sounding. The West Zones, of course, are gonna sound better. But for about around 150 bucks, these are not bad. Like I'd pick these up definitely just to try out. And these have a good reputation too. I heard they came out with the new one, but I haven't looked into it. a three driver or two driver maybe. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed the quick video. This is a Edematic ER4SR.